Hey guys, and welcome back to Sports Design School, where we teach you everything you need to know to create high quality, awesome looking sports designs and motion designs. Now today I'm excited for this awesome tutorial we have for you guys, where we'll be animating a signature from scratch in Adobe Photoshop. Now this process isn't very complicated, but can add a nice flair to any design that you put together by animating a cool signature. I'll be walking you through the entire process and showing you how to recreate this look. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna go up to Layer, New, and Text. And what that allows me to do is go through and add my own text layer into After Effects. And for now, I'm just gonna type in Subscribe. And for this, I wanna select a script or handwritten type font. Now there are so many different script fonts so I'm just gonna pick a font called Ready, just like that. You might recognize this font. This is a similar font to what Georgia uses for their graphic designs. But here we have this subscribe handwritten font that we can act as our signature for today. Also, shameless plug, subscribe if you aren't already. We'll be going through lots of awesome motion graphic tutorials just like this in After Effects. But now we have our subscribe text, and we need to animate this text. And to do that, we're gonna start off by choosing this pen tool in the top, and we're gonna zoom in. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is go through and select the basic lines that you would write as if you were writing this with your hand. So most people start their S's at the top, go down, swivel around, go into the U, and then I think most people go B from the top like that. And then they do the S from the top and then the C just like that. And then the I, B, E, just like that. And it's important, I know that's kind of trivial, but it's important to understand how people are actually gonna be writing it because if you just animate this in whatever way that doesn't make sense, then people are gonna feel like it's weird and not an authentic handwritten effect. So I'm gonna start by just clicking here at this point where our S kind of starts at the top. And we're gonna go through and just continue clicking along this line. Doing our best to follow the middle point of our subscribe text. And as we go through, there are different ways that you can like bend the pen tool. Like if you actually just click and drag, you can add a line. But to be honest for this, it doesn't have to be a perfect recreation of the text. So there we have our S. Now let's go up and start our U from the top. And we can zoom in really as much as we need to. Just like that and then back down for the bottom of our U. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky because our B starts at the top typically. So we're gonna need to go back around and start at the top of our B and click through just like that. And then our B kind of bunches around and goes all the way just like that. And then our S kind of does the same thing, where our S starts at the top, so we'll go back to our top, and click all the way through our S. Now I know this isn't the most exciting thing, so I'll be sure to speed this up in our video so that you can just fast forward to the end. And so now we've finished completely selecting all of our points on our subscribe text. But now we need to animate it and actually add in the handwritten animation. So what's the best way of going about doing that? Well, with these points still selected, we can go up to Effect, down to Generate, and choose Stroke. And this will bring up this dialog box on our effect controls. Now you'll see there are a couple of different features like brush size, 
hardness, opacity, start end, and spacing. We're going to turn up our brush size for right now. And as we turn it up, you can see it starts to cover part of our subscribe text. I'll scale it down so we can see for reference. Perfect. And now, as you can see, all of our points go through and cover all of our subscribe text. Now, our end point right now is at 100%, but watch as we undo and go back to zero. It's almost like a reverse of our handwriting effect. So that's our end point. But we want to start by selecting Reveal Original Image. And what that means is that as our stroke goes through, it will reveal the parts of our image we want to reveal, ultimately showing our handwriting animation effect. And so as I go through and scroll, you can see we're going from nothing and starting with our handwriting effect, just like that. But we need to animate this now, and we can do that by clicking these keyframes. So starting at the very beginning with 0% selected, we can click on the end, and we'll move forward about a second and a half and drag this up to 100%. I'll shrink this so we can render it a little bit better. And now as we zoom back out, and I play our animation, you notice we have this animated handwriting effect. And it's pretty easy to do. But that's it guys, that's all you have to do to recreate this handwriting animation in Adobe After Effects. It's a great thing to add to any static graphic to add another dynamic element to your designs. But if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel. It seriously helps so much getting these videos in front of more people and helping more people through the design and motion design process. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in our next video.